Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and uh, in this project video tutorial, we will learn that how we can integrate our uh, signup API in React.js. So these are the points of this video. One more thing guys, before integrating this API in React.js, I will show you that how you can test this API on a Postman because as a front-end developer, you must have to test this API before integrating because if you are just uh, trying to integrate directly that you might don't know this error is coming from uh, back end or uh, front end right so first of all we will make a html form then we will get these values from a html form uh, inside our object and send to the back end api after just uh, returning the successful result we will just save this result inside a local storage because uh, based on this result uh, we will just decide that user is logged in or not or signed in or not and uh, this will be a complete flow for api integration one more thing uh, after registration we will redirect this page to the add product page right but uh, still a uh, one functionality will be pending in this video and that we will complete in the next video which is uh, after registration and login these menu will be still here right that how we can just hide them and uh, how we can protect just going to back on login and registration we will learn in the next video in this video we will specifically learn that how we can make a form get values from the form and integrate our api so now let's start with the code so now let's uh, jump on registration.js file and uh, create a simple form here so actually we don't need a form because uh, we are just uh, getting these uh, well uh, input values inside a state so we can just simply put here our inputs like uh, type is text and uh, that's all for a, for a moment and now you can see that uh, this is a really a small input field and not looking good so what we can do here we can add here a bootstrap class we already integrated our bootstrap in our application which is form control right and now you will find that this is looking good but this is coming on a whole screen that how we can protect it from the whole screen so that what you can do here you can just uh, use here class name call sm6 uh, but still there is a problem it should be in the center so how we can put it center we can just simply add here uh, offset so just use here offset sm3 and now this all content is coming in the center that's great so now we can add here a plus placeholder also like uh, email or oh, sorry name and let's uh, just make two more fields here like this but now you will find that there is a no space between these fields so we can add here a br tag even we can use uh, some kind of css also here but to save the time i am just simply using here a br tag and at the last let's uh, make a button and uh, just right here sign up and uh, this button is not looking well also looking good so for that we can add here a btn btn primary class also and uh, now this is looking much better and uh, we can just change this uh, name also like password and uh, here we can just write here email and we can just change here change it as a password because we don't want to show this password to the user directly and we just want to show here dots that's great so now how we can get these uh, fields value for that we need at least three states so just import here a react import react and uh, use state from react all right so now let's create three states uh, let's make a const 
name set name and uh, just write here a use state and by default value can be blank similarly make two more for password and uh, let's write here set password and email and just write here set email for setting up this state all right so now we how we can update this state which is uh, really simple we can use here on click uh, on change event and just take a event parameter from here and uh, write here set name e dot target dot value and let's add three more uh, for uh, set password and set email oh, my bad set email great and uh, now let's define these bind these state with the values like uh, name password and at the last email now let's try to fill that everything is working fine or not with the name working fine working fine with the old field that's great now let's uh, make a function here let's say function sign up and uh, let's try to console these old state here so that let's say name and uh, password and email right and uh, let's call this function on click off this button great and now let's open console and uh, try to sign up and now you can see that we are able to get these values all values that means we just uh, get these values inside the a function so now let's convert these three state in with a object so just simply write here let item equal to object and these right now we have a object here if you just want to print it then you can uh, just put here simply item and here we go now this is converted inside object because we just put here two uh, brackets uh, inside uh, around it and uh, they will automatically convert it inside the object so now let's use here uh, okay so now it's time to test our api because now we just want to integrate apis right okay so first of all what we need to know we must have to know our api uh, parameters and url so how will you just get to know your backend developer will tell tell you that what parameters you need to send and what is the url of that api and what method is using so we are using post method because i just created this api so i know that right and uh, you can just simply put here local storage and uh, port is 8000 and api registration and inside body we have to select row and json data because from front end in 99.9% uh, .9 apis we are just sending uh, JSON data and now just select here a name and let's say it's a uh, XYZ it's like dummy name and then password password can be like uh, ABC XYZ whatever you want and uh, after that email can be like XYZ at the rate test.com and I must have to wrap, wrap it inside quotes. So now let's try to send it. If it will return 201 result, that means this is working fine. Here you can see that the status is 201 and this result is stored with the ID 10. So as a front end developer, you cannot confirm until that you are just signing up with this URL, right? But I just created this API so I can just show you that this is stored inside a 
database also here you can see that with the id 10 this is stored that's great so this is not a useful name so i'm just going to remove it right because we will just uh, add the another user with the help of react.js and this is our testing po on a postman so i need this url so let me just get this inside uh, uh, you can see that our function so just write here fetch api put this url and in the second parameter we will just uh, uh, put here some optional methods and uh, uh, optional uh, keys which is like a method and we will use method post and second one is uh, body and we will just send item here but you cannot send item directly with it you must have to convert it in the a string so just write here json.stringify item and after that one more important thing you must have to send here headers headers that means it will tell that what data you are sending and what data you are accepting right and if you just want to uh, get that how you can just send then you can just select it from here content type like this okay i don't need uh, much stuff so i will just copy it from here even you can just write it also it's totally up to you and this like uh, this is a key and the value will be a application json or application form what our data you are sending but in 99 percent cases we are just sending json data so you can just simply write here what happened with it okay uh, application json and one more parameter we must have to send that which is accept of that what data we will accept here right so we will accept again uh, application json so just write here same okay and uh, that's fine so because we are whenever we will hit our apis it will return always a promise so we can use here async await right async and uh, let's take a variable like result and it will be just wait for this result after that it will just resolve a one promise but whenever we will call apis there is a two promise one for calling the apis second one for resolve the json right so again just resolve one more uh, like uh, result dot json and uh, let's put here await await automatically resolve our promises all right so now for a confirmation you can just check that console dot one uh, result that means it will just check that result is coming or not and now let's see what we will just find here so again i will just send some data like uh, peter password a b the rate abc at the rate test.com or something whatever you want and uh, again email address is let's say peter at the rate test.com let's try to sign up it and now you can see that we just got this result and let's see is it stored in the database or not yes this is stored that how you can check that your api is working or not and uh, the data is just uh, sent through the apis or not here you can see that registration our url of our api uh, even you can check the url here post request type status code and this data that we just sent and the data that we are just receiving all right so now i am just going to remove it again because i don't want much more entries i will just make a genuine entry and redirect it on a uh, add product and i just want to also add this data to the uh, you can say that uh, local storage right so just coming from here you can just simply put here local storage dot set item user info this is a key and we can just store this uh, result inside a local storage but there is an issue we cannot store 
this data directly we must have to convert in a string like this and after that how we can just uh, redirect it to the um, add product page for that we must have to import history from uh, uh, react router so import something from react router dom and just right here use history and let's take this history inside a const like this and now let's simply write here history dot push and your url and my url will be add here and now let's see what we are getting here just now right here uh, uh, let's say peter and password will be a b c at the rate mm, at the rate one two three and email address can be like uh, peter at the rate test.com let's uh, sign up on it and now you can see that our one more api is uh, uh, just a file from here and we are redacted to the here and in the database we just go get again one more entry and now let's check our local stories also and here we go we have this peter email address the, and all other data inside our local stories also if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box yes i know that uh, after just login or registration these two item should not be there and i will just tell you in the next video that how we can handle these so bye bye for this uh, video and stay tuned for more for more videos and please like this video and subscribe my channel